This is my 1956 Ford Victoria. Built this uh, 82 Firebird into a sort of a poor man's Ferrari. Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. My name is Marlene, and today I'm here with Sarah and Ted. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your car today? It's a 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback. It's uh, what's a horsepower? It's 425 horsepower. 425 horse. 425 horsepower. It's a 302 engine been blown out. It's a uh, custom paint. It's a blue and purple. It changes color in the sunlight. Yeah. How many miles does the car have? Uh, it's got uh, like, like 68,000 on the car, and it's got about 2,000 on the motor. Uh, and can you tell us about the wheels and the rims of the car? No, the rims is, uh, I don't know what you're told. I don't know what you're like, uh, The polished slow wheels. Oh, I don't know what the name of this. My son put them on there. Okay. When it get completely restored, about uh, seven, seven, eight years ago, Excalibur did a lot of the work to it in New Lenox. Okay. And can you tell us about the interior of the car? Has it been restored as well? Much of it has been redone. Yes. Um, I know we have a few things that we still want to do to it. As far as the wheels, it, uh, for many, many years it had Kreger mags on it, which we do want to put back on it again because we like them better. Um, this was just a wheel that his son um, that passed away six years ago had chosen um, along with his wife at the time. Um, but we still don't really care for them a whole lot, so we want to put back the Kreger mags again so it looks like it once did. Can you show me the engine of the car, please? No. Have you done any um, updates to the engine? That, when it had gotten restored, a lot of that had gotten done at that time as well. Did you add any more ho horsepower besides what it has? It did at that time, yes, quite a bit. Because um, I think it originally was a 302. So it was a 302, and now it's a 425. Right. How long have you owned the car for? Um, ourselves, we've owned it for a few years, but his son had it for many, many, many years. So it's getting close to 40 years total in the family. Oh, wow. Do you know how many owners this car's had? Yes, two, well, three, I think. The original, and then his son and, and, and then, ourselves. So you would be the third? Yep. So the, I'm sorry, what color did you say the car was? Um, ori originally, or, or right now? Right now. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what color blue you call it. Um, so I would be the right one to ask you on that one. <laughs> It changes colors in the sun. Nice. I know it's always been blue, so that hence the moody blue. It's been called the moody blue for years and years and years. Um, but when it was redone, it was redone different because it had it was solid blue with white stripes on the hood and the back uh, trunk lid. Um, yeah, we have uh, oh a whole binder of pictures from what it looked like originally through the restoration and then now. All right, well, thank you so much for the interview today. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Herb Wyeth. I'm the president and founder of Morris Cruise Nights. We're in our 16th year. It started out with just a bunch of guys having a good time, you know, and we started out about 120 cars. And, uh, and now we've grown up where we've had uh, 719 cars. 
and you know it's been a, a great thing for the community we have a beneficiary every night that we uh, donate the money to uh, and they have a 50 50 drawing every night uh, we also have what uh, golden scholarship award uh, that's a scholarship for the vocational center here at Morrison auto mechanics class we give away two one thousand dollar scholarships every year and uh, it's just been a great event, great for the community and great for the family. And I appreciate your coverage on this. Please enjoy the next video.